Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Um, we're here. Uh, my name is Christian Hernandez. As uh, Fatih just mentioned, I'm a senior principal product manager at Red Hat. And Scott, you'd like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, Scott Rigby. I am um, fun employed right now. Uh, nice. And, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, uh, anyway, I'm independent um, and I am very involved with the open GitOps project and, as Fatih just mentioned, several other, um, co maintain several other CMCF projects and I'm involved in a few other working groups. Awesome, awesome. So um, we're here to talk about um, you know, the state of um, GetOps, uh, Open GetOps, GetOps Working Group. And uh, first, we kind of want to go off of the, who we are and what we do, right? Um, we've, um, we think we've, uh, we've, we've spread the good words of GetOps a little bit um, uh, um, for a while now. But uh, since this is our first time with CDCon and GetOpsCon, we have more folks from outside the GetOps world. So I figured um, we can. Um, just talk quickly talk about um, who we are and what we do. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. And um, I probably should have mentioned I was formerly at Weaveworks, and um, that's where the, the GitOps term initially originated from Alexis Richardson, the CEO of Weaveworks. Uh, but since, and that was quite a while ago, and since then there's really community um, uh, around this to the point where there's, there are sh there's shared terminology now, there's, there's shared, um, you know, ever, uh, we're all kind of all on board for this across the industry. Um, so yeah, so just to give you a sense of what the differences are between, or the similarities and the relationships between the working group um, and uh, the, the open project, is that, so, so the CNCF working groups, um, I won't make any assumptions about the knowledge of, I don't know, the, inter the knowledge of this audience with CNCF and all of its inner workings, but basically working groups by and large are under technical advisory groups, very similar to um, the Kubernetes uh, special interest groups. And that's where the GitOps working group is under the app delivery tag. So our focus, it's basically app delivery is about how things are, right, how things are delivered, and it, it pairs very well with um, the connection with the CD Foundation. And GitOps, the GitOps working group, our main focus is about uh, really just those the principles uh, um, around, uh, excuse me, around um, your, your desired state for your operations. And so all of our principles relate to that, and you'll kind of see how they tie together in later slides. Um, the wor working groups um, are meant to be short-lived um, until, really until their goals are achieved. We still, you know, we're still on the fence about how, how much longer we need a working group um, because the Open GitOps project has really been a place that holds the long-lasting documents like the principles and the glossary, and it's a place where, uh, I guess, information about the certification that Fatih mentioned earlier will be, held, will be um, and um, conformance, and, and really anything around, around the, the public-facing side of GitOps. So we're... At this point, it's, uh, you can be involved with the working group, and ultimately what that means is you're really helping to participate in and you know, contribute to and run the GitOps, Open GitOps project. So um, there's not a lot of difference right now. Uh, but yeah, um, we're gonna, I guess you'll go over how. Yeah, um, so. Um, like we'll just introduce how, right, how, how, the, how the GitOps yeah. principles really matter. How they relate to each other, yeah. So um, I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to go over the next slide. Shout out to William Caban, uh, who isn't here, but he was uh, um, involved with um, with drafting these uh, these principles and actually mapping them to common practices. And so, um, you know, the GetOps principles and uh, was you know vendor neutral from you know industry wide. We had a, a lot of folks. We'll go over that uh, who contributed later. Um, but can I still define each one, and then you can start to talk about how they're mapped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so the first uh, first principle is a declarative, right? Uh, system is managed that is managed by GitOps must have its desired state expressed declaratively. Um, but this is true for things like configuration as code, infrastructure as code, you know, DevSecOps, and also GitOps. And so, um, you know, this is kind of um, things that aren't necessarily new, but we are um, actually putting kind of like a definition. Um, around what it means with respects to GitOps. For principle two is version and immutable, uh, meaning desired state is stored in a way that is, it enforces immutability, versioning and retains a complete version history. 
right? Again, this is the same for infrastructure as code and you know, DevOps and all those sorts of things. Um, but also GitOps, right? You're also, um, you know, GitOps also uses uh, this principle as well. Um, and it's pulled automatically, and I like to um, define pulled. So uh, software agents automatically pull the desired state. So pulling the desired state versus you know webhooks and stuff like that. Um, oh, and, and and just to interject real quick, mm -hmm. um, the one thing that's not really on this website that is in the the versioned um, GitOps principles is that each of these four principles relate specifically to the desired state of your operations. Yes. And we probably should just very quickly yes. mention what yeah. that is. Uh, that's you know um, basically the declarative um, side of of operations. So like you know platform uh, applications, but also anything that's required for your system to work. You know including policies and uh, security policies and mm -hmm. and policies about who's supposed to access you know what um, networking. Pretty much anything for. Uh, Ideally, everything from soup to nuts, you know. Um, but uh, but so like what's pulled? What's pulled? We're talking about the the, the, the declarations. The right. desired state is pulled. Your end state, so. as opposed to the imperative steps to get there. Correct. So and that is uh, you know kind of like the dev DevOps, DevSecOps, GitOps. But um, number four, which is uh, my favorite, that gets you fully into GitOps, is software agents continuously observe actual system state and intent to apply that desired state uh, to the system, right? And so um, all of these uh, we hope to build on each other. And, and really, when you, only when you're doing all four, I make the, the joke kind of like Captain Planet. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. But like when your powers combine, right, you're actually <laughs> doing all, all, all GitOps. And so um, you know, each, each principle takes you closer and closer to GitOps. And only when you're doing all three, um, you're actually doing uh, GitOps. And so uh, moving quickly here. Um, so we have a few announcements. Awesome things are happening. Um, so uh, ArgoCon happened, right? So uh, folks from uh, the Argo community also um, take um, take part of Open GitOps and um, Argo EU happened. Third ArgoCon to take place, second time in person. Oh, oh. So uh, it was co-located with KubeCon EU to make it a little easier. Um, and so that was uh, a lot of fun that happened there. That's not the only thing GitOps related that happened in, uh, in Amsterdam. So Scott, talk about a little bit about the community meeting we had. Oh yeah, Th this is good to know about even though it's like, well, why are, you saying, why are you mentioning this here? But it's good to know about because this is an ongoing set of discussions that anyone, any of you who are interested in the topics around GitOps, please participate in. We basically, we use um, GitHub discussions as the place to sync our live meetings and our, um, you know, the, all the async meeting, the, the async work that's happening by people in various time zones. So um, we're really trying to promote the usage there and make sure that, yes, we have other channels of communication, um, you know, Slack and mailing lists and in-person meetings, but, but that's where we really try to synthesize everything so that no one's left out. You know, and um, so the, the community meeting that was at KubeCon, we really took that, uh, the, that list of topics and, and held kind of an open, or let's say a uh, kind of an unconference style, birds of a feather conversation, or had birds of a feather conversations. And it was, they were really great. So it would be great to have some of that with you all um, in a less formal way, I think, over the next day, the next two days, um, in the hallway or in between chats. In between conferences. Yep, and uh, something else, and uh, Fatih already mentioned it, but uh, we're also helping co-author the uh, the certified GitOps associate uh, certification. Um, with um, you know, we're we're, uh, it, we're we're not only doing the conference with the CD uh, with the CD Foundation here. We're also uh, helping um, uh, shape the certification, uh, vendor neutral certification um, um, that the Linux Foundation is going to be putting on about uh, um, about GitOps. So, um, course outline is set. We're currently writing, discussing, doing all that fun stuff. So take a look at that when that comes out. Um, you know, we're really, really excited about that. So sweet. Let's talk about what's next. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as Christian was saying, basically, um, the conformance and certification, to, to be super clear about this, conformance is primarily for projects and platforms, uh, uh, products, and things like that. Um, certifications are for people, 
So like that kind of gets mixed up sometimes in a lot of the conversations, so I thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> um, and for the, the certification, we're really talking about the, the human side of this, you know, like you, t you take classes or you attend conferences and then you wanna get your certification, so that's what's coming, not, not so much the conformance side, but that is on the horizon as well. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, and you know, kind of on the, on the foot of that is uh, the fact checking, you know, the GitOps police is here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, we, we really um, um, want to help the, the, the larger community, the, you know, in the industry um, about, the, about the use of GitOps, right? We, we, I, I always say we don't want GitOps to turn into like cloud, right? So like cloud came out and it was just like it was just like everywhere and like who knows what cloud means now um, but we want we, we don't want the same thing happen to GitOps, right we which is part of the reason why the working group exists um, and uh, you know a lot of these a lot of articles and blogs were written even before the the working group was even existed mm -hmm. so it would um, you know we we, we try to um, um, I guess educate and kind of like make it make it up accessible to, to everyone. So that way, it's like, hey, you know, let's join the community. Let, let's let's get these practices out there, and um, and so that way, you know, us as a tech industry can be speaking the same language. So yeah, and so like on that note, please reach out to us, at not just Christian and I, but all the people involved in the working group and the Open GitOps project. Like that's really part of our job is to help collaborate with people and say, oh yeah, um, now that there are these industry standard and versioned uh, terms that, that's agreed upon across, you know, across many different companies and industries and so on, um, you know, if you want some, I don't know, even eyes on, on, uh, on your writings about things or, or even just have any questions or, or even have ideas about what should change within GitOps, yeah, let, please let us know. Awesome, and then again, PRs are welcome. That's kind of what the last bullet is. So I'll, uh, since we're running out of time, I'll uh, march on here. So get involved, the more the merrier, Scott. Talking about um, project structure and, and, and uh, how to get involved. Here. I'll, be, I'll be quick about this one. So yeah, so, yeah, so the, the entry point for, I mean, there's an open GitOps.dev website, but for folks who are looking for, uh, to get into, you know, get in through Git, um, uh, it, it's all at GitHub, like most of the CNCF projects um, are like housed there, uh, at least says the, the main source of truth. And the, the organization is open-gitops, so just remember that for now. Someone name squatted open-gitops one word and it's just been sitting there for years. Uh, we don't know who it is. Yeah, um, if you know who it is, let us know. Please. Yeah. <laughs> we could redirect it, but in yeah. any case, um, there's nothing there. But, uh, so you'll find it. And the main, um, the main entry point, like repo, is the project repo. So like third down on that list, it just gives you information about like, what is this project? Uh, how do you get involved? Who's, who's running it? Like, what's the governance like? Et cetera, what are the licenses? That kind of thing. Um, and uh, the documents repo is really the, um, the main contribution that's out there right now. That's where the principles are being worked on, uh, that, that's where the version, like V1 of the principles are. Um, any issues and discussions around, around updating those or, or tweaking them in some way, that's where that happens. Um, also, the, the, uh, that's where the code base for the GitOps um, glossary is, which the principles link out to and vice versa. Um, so yeah, like definitely check that out. And then, uh, you know, if people wanna actually like say, hey, I wanna start contributing and maybe you're really good at front end work or you know whatever um check out the website repo because we can actually use some help there it's looking pretty good but um but it's always good to get more eyes um and then just you know the normal like github uh health or you know default community files like how to contribute and things like that um cool gonna... yeah cool and uh just kind of let you know we're growing right um and we're growing to the point where we have subgroups now um, and also, I just want to say congratulations to our new maintainer, uh, Nikki. Nikki's here. I yes, woo -woo. Yay, Nikki. There you go. Thank you, uh, Manoledaki. Did I say it right? 
Uh, mo mostly, that. okay, thank you. So congratulations, your maintainer. She, um, uh, she started the uh, environmental sustainability for GitOps subgroup. So uh, awesome, awesome work there that she's doing here. So um, there's some teams here, right? In the last few seconds that we got here, um, again, the environmental sustainability team, which is active, marketing media slash events, right? Kind of, this is kind of where I kind of hang out, do most, most, uh, most of the stuff that here. How we do what we do. So if you wanna yeah. get involved, like what kind of team would I like to be on? Check, check these out. There's a document yep. in the main project repo about this. Yep. And then uh, there's some proposed teams, right? Like security, media fact checking, that sort of, sort of stuff. Um, and the inactive team, right? Our first team was a principles committee, which basically um, was a committee that came up with the GitOps principles um, that we discussed earlier. And then just kind of want to give a shout out to, to all um, the authors, right? That did. Uh, um, uh, that contributed to um, the GitOps principles. And then, oh yeah, get involved with the discussions. And uh, best place to get involved, if you have your phone out, uh, scan the QR code. Um, you can find us in opengitops.dev. Um, and uh, you can join a meeting. Um, and yeah, we thank you and enjoy yeah. the conference. Thanks so much.